Hello friends, it's good to be with you once again today. Now the Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit is praying on our behalf. The message translation of Romans chapter 8 verse 26 and 27 puts it like this. God's Spirit is right alongside helping us along. If we don't know how or what to pray, it doesn't matter. He does our praying in us and for us, making prayer out of our world, wordless sighs, our aching groans. He knows us far better than we know ourselves and keeps us present before God. Now, sometimes we struggle to be fully present in prayer, don't we? Sometimes when we pray, we're not really focused. Maybe we're just repeating words or listing things off that we always pray about. Our hearts aren't really in it. Now, one of the main things that stops us from praying is distraction. It certainly is for me. Someone might interrupt us and need our attention. Our thoughts might wander off and we find ourselves thinking about something completely different and forget we were praying in the first place. We might even get a notification on our phones like I just did um, and we become tempted to check that rather than carry on in prayer. Now we are not alone when it comes to struggling with distraction in prayer because the disciples struggled with staying focused as well. When Jesus went to pray in the Garden of Gethsemane, he asked the disciples to keep watch, but they fell asleep. So Jesus said in Matthew chapter 26, verses 40 to 41, Couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. But when Jesus returned, they'd fallen asleep again. When we're praying, let's try and put away all things that might distract us and ask God to help us to keep our minds firmly fixed on him. So why don't you try writing down what happens when you're praying? Write the things that you're bringing before God and write anything you feel he is saying to you. So let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.